All right, welcome to the first Vans to Villas video. Uh, a lot of Vs there, but let's get right into it. So today we are at Giant RV in uh, Downey, California, right next to I-5. I'm sure any of you guys who live in the area have probably seen this place. Um, giant, they have so many RVs here. You can see behind me, it just goes forever. Um, and same down that way. And here is the new Gretsch Strata Motorhome. This is a company out of Riverside. This is on a uh, Sprinter Van 3500 chassis. And they actually were not originally a motorhome maker. This is their first motorhome. Their actually main focus is luxury limousine conversions for Sprinter Vans and other um, larger limo kind of vehicles. This is the newest of the Sprinter Vans. I believe this is a 2020 or 2021. <clears throat> and this is a really, really interesting take on a motorhome. I think most of us have probably seen Sprinter Vans turn into uh, motorhomes before. Winnebago has one and so many other companies do as well. But this one's a little bit different. As we walk inside, the difference is immediately apparent. You can definitely see the limo DNA of this. These leather seats, these carbon fiber accents, and just the fit and finish in here is truly extraordinary. Let me get the power on for this one. Actually, let's see. This is all controlled through one screen. As you can see, it absolutely lights up when you want it to. So in here, I'm about 5'11", 6 foot-ish, and I have no problem walking around. And I have shoes on, so I'm you know, pushing an extra half an inch to an inch there. It's effortless. This is a truly, truly luxury experience. This one, price-wise, comes in at about $210,000, which is a lot, but these are typically a lot. You know, conversion vans that are don't have any of the RV amenities that this has, but has more the luxury, are easily 150. You know, that's an extremely normal price for them. So here in the cab, you can see that it's much more Mercedes-ish than older Sprinter vans. This is the same kind of steering wheel you get in the A-Class or the C-Class. This one definitely has some hard plastic, but is still incredibly comfortable. Has all these different settings for cruise control and all the different ways to interact with the nav. There's actually another one that was just here that has the newer infotainment screen, which this whole piece is all one singular screen. Um, looking at something like the A-Class or S-Class is probably the best way to see what that look looks like. Down here you have the really nice knurled metal climate controls and plenty of cup holders you're definitely gonna not run out of course like any sprinter van the doors have lots of space in them you know immense number of cubbies and a very easy entrance and exit so i just quickly wanted to show you guys what it's like under the hood i know a lot of these tours don't necessarily show you that and also while we're heading over there that's where you fill up for diesel it's a very nice streamlined spot for it. And right here, we have all the different details on it. If you want to pause the video and take a look at that, we have all the stuff like paint code and all that good stuff. So let's check under the hood real quick. Let's see, where do I open it? Right there. Not bad at all. A lot of space actually under here. I know these diesels are quite reliable. We have more connections for lights and all that stuff. Very nice. Close that up. We're here on the outside. And as you can see, we got the nice Alcoa wheels. We got the dualies in the back. We have multiple different exhaust pipes for the different generators and venting that needs to happen. We got this extra step that they added in, this whole lower 
lower piece is a body kit added by the factory. It gives it a very, very premium look. There's no problem at all getting into this. And from the driver's seat, you can very easily get to the back. So this motorhome is very interesting because as much as it's for someone who wants to travel a country, go camping, I would say it is just as good, if not maybe better, for someone like a celebrity. This is so perfect for having all your friends be right here with you, but also have an, a level of comfort and usability that you just do not get with most of these sprinter van conversions. Like, think of how helpful it would be to have your limousine have a full bathroom. This is as good, I would say actually substantially better than any airplane bathroom you're going to find. It's obviously tight, but that's what you do expect in something like this. Um, you have a mirror here that pops out. Do that right now. There I am. Hello. We have a nice sink. Definitely plenty of space. This also comes out. I believe this turns into a shower, which is really cool. This is definitely a perfect example of a wet bath. Everything here is all connected, and the drain is right where I was standing, right there. We also have a toilet paper cover, which is very, very helpful. And a window, which of course, you can close that right down. Get all the privacy you want. So another interesting feature here in this bathroom is this. I was very confused at first when I saw it, but it's actually a very clever feature. Yeah, it's a clothesline. I've never seen anything like this in one of these wet baths. And we got the fan right here. A little push button light. This whole bathroom space is a really, really good use of space. I'm incredibly impressed by how well they fit everything in here. And like I said before, I'm standing up in here, no problem. It's obviously a little tight, but incredibly comfortable. And we got here the curtain. So if you want to take a shower. This is incredible. Out here, we have the kitchen, or maybe galley is a better word for it. We have here the sink, which has a nice cover on it. Let's pull that out. And put that right over here. Got a really, really nice stainless steel sink. Really beautiful. An excellent, excellent faucet. Having this cover really does help a lot because you now have all this counter space. You know, it's obviously not a kitchen you find in a mansion, but this is incredibly premium and still allows you to cook and have space to prepare meals. And you get the two induction burners here, which is very nice. <clears throat> now down below, it's a little bit hard to get to, but we got the big microwave and we have these uh, push to open or push to pop out the um, knob uh, drawers everywhere this is a great use of space this is otherwise an area of dead space which they managed to turn into something useful that's a great for maybe kitchen utensils over here wow actually that's a lot bigger than I was expecting but that actually makes a lot of sense this whole area because when you go with induction you don't need anything below this really you could fit a lot of stuff in that let's see what's over here once again very very sizable you know you could fit a full residential um, cutlery organizer right there and then down here we have the uh, Nova cool refrigerator it has this uh, lockout which is very very helpful when you're going down the you know, bumpy road to the highway. I'm not quite sure what this is for, um, but the, the rest of it is definitely very usable space. 
So to give you guys some perspective, this is so spacious. There's three across seating right here. We got seat belts, so everything's safe. And we even have lighting up top, push to use. You can swivel it every which direction. It's definitely, there's a lot of uh, airline influences on this. We have nice cushions, which also come out, which is very, um, very convenient, as you will see in a second. So you might be wondering where the bed is. I'll show you. I think you probably have an idea. I was just sitting on it. So if we go over here, we have all these buttons up here. So start pressing them. And there we go. That comes down, folds fully flat. This is all 100% powered. As you can see, that was incredibly fast. That goes to the middle, the other one as well. How easy is that? The only little thing you gotta do is just move these cushions. And there you go. You just do that one as well, and you have a, I'm not sure exactly what size bed I would call this, but it's definitely in the king to queen size. And now you move those, and you have an incredibly comfortable place to sleep. So you might be wondering, what if it's bright out? Well, there's a feature for that too. So if we go here to the control screen, there's a thing here that says Shade Master. Watch this. All around. You just hear the nice, subtle whir as you get plunged into total darkness for a perfect night's sleep. And additionally, total privacy, which for VIP customers might be a very, very helpful feature. You know, you got paparazzi bothering you, press that button, you're all set. Up here, we also have these two captain's chairs with full three-point seat belt. <laughs> there we go. Oh, this one does not want to give me my seatbelt. Let me just buckle it in. And we're ready to get chauffeured or go on a trip. Really perfect. Over here, we have a little 12 volt outlet for two different um, USBs. This is an excellent spot to be charging your phones. Also, right here, accessible for the driver or passenger, is this remote. There's so many different things you can control with this. So from the captain's chairs, looking forward, not only do you have the whole cab with lots of storage pockets up there, we also have a TV, which I believe has uh, Apple TV connected. I think we should also mention the storage in here. It really is truly incredible. Come on, pop out. There we go. You know, each one of these has like more storage than you would possibly know what to do with. And over here we have full connections for everything. We have a DVD player. We got the same screen we have over there. This is a thermostat or actually I'm not sure if that's thermostat or if it's for the uh, water. We also have a charge controller, and this looks like a cable connection. Close that up. Also, as I'm sure you've noticed, we have blue ambient lighting around the whole trim. And of course, a fan, which is a must-have. This is a Max Air fan. You can see through it. It's a little bit wavy, but these are absolutely excellent products. Let's get some more light in here. Let's open back up the Shade Master. <clears throat> of course, if you so, so choose, you can pick any single one of these to, to control individually. Go over here, control all the temperature. You can control lighting with Light Master off or on. Very, very simple. Go to home. 
this is a really great system here. It's very easy to get, you know, confused about what levels things are at, but this is a great system. All percentages, so we have, you know, 36% of the fresh water is available. The gray is filled up 4%, and black 0%. LP, which is gas, is 73%. This all makes this ownership process and the day-to-day -day experience with this so much easier. So many different features here. Here in the door, we have this extra layer added in for a little more luxury. Open the door up. Opens very wide. And we have another wonderful feature, the awning. As you can see, there's lighting on both sides, fully LED, strip lighting. And of course, we have a power controlled step. It's power and or manual, which is very nice. If it were to break, you can still control it, which I really um, am quite fond of those types of features. Here, let's see, retract. It moves very quickly, which is nice. I know from my experience with the older RVs, you used to have to do this all manually, which definitely made it less enjoyable and definitely made me a lot less likely to go use the awning, which is a real shame because having an awning out can be a quite nice experience. And just like that, it's put away and streamlined. You can see how it looks in the front of it. Fits right in. So if you want that step in, just go right here. And there it goes disappears. Also there is an additional light down there for the step. So you can see that come on and off. A little bit hard to see with the lighting here. Also, let's pop this back open. I'll show you how to get a table in the back and have a nice dining room setup. Just like that, you're ready to go. Just gonna put this back in place. Also, if I didn't mention earlier, these do have seat belts as well. So right back here, you have seating for five, an extra two, and an extra two up front. So nine in total. Definitely perfect for you and all your friends. Also, we have cup holders here. And you might notice, there's this in the floor. That is for the table. You open this up. I think the table is currently being stored somewhere else, but we do have the post with a nice little bracket so you don't have to have it rolling around or anything like that. This is so deep, I actually cannot reach the back of it. And of course, side to side, plenty of space. Shouldn't forget to mention up here, we have a Dometic air conditioner. Dometic makes excellent products and this is, you know, Definitely going to be more than enough to cool this whole van down, even in extreme heat. Another nice little safety feature here is the smoke alarm. Looks like a residential type. And I almost missed this. We have a whole another TV back here, as if one wasn't enough. And of course, another way to control it. This is especially nice if you're back here in bed. You can reach up and control the lights, everything. Down here we also have a Bose sound system, which... I don't have the ability to test it right now, but I'm sure it sounds incredible. They're a great company. So overall, I'd have to say that I'm really impressed by this Gresh motorhome. It's really cool seeing a different take on it from my limousine maker converting into an RV instead of the, you know, RV makers just doing their thing. I think as much as this is good for an RVer, I think this is the perfect VIP transport. This is something I could totally see pictures of someone like Justin Bieber pulling up at an event with. And I honestly think we're probably going to see a lot more of that with companies like this. This one is actually one of the first of them 
They've been selling these like hotcakes around here. This is number eight. We just had one behind it, which was number one, which is pretty exciting. Unfortunately, I was going to film that. It's a little bit nicer and a little bit newer, but unfortunately it just sold. So no filming customer vehicles without, you know, their consent. Back here, we have tons of storage and these huge wide opening doors. We have more things here for, this is for um, covering up the cab. It's all the documentation. Very nice. I believe this is a power controller over here. And more goodies. A fire extinguisher. I think that's for sewage. And also water hookup. Also, actually, didn't even consider this, but there's quite a bit of storage underneath this back area. And additionally, we have more USB charges back here, which is great, you know, when you have this down flat as a bed, you can put your cell phone in there and charge it while you sleep. And more features that I didn't notice when I was up front. This, I'm actually not quite sure what this is for. Um, if you guys have any um, insight on what that is, it's possible it's just a handle for when you're in bed to help you get up, but I'm not actually sure. That's just my guess. Also, we got a backup camera, which is really helpful when you have a rig this big. I think the theme of this vehicle overall is just really, really premium, high quality uh, manufacturing. Close that up. So I have to give a big shout out to Giant RV here in uh, Downey, California. They have so much stuff, I highly recommend you come check them out. If you're looking for an RV, they even have, I believe, airport pickup if you want to fly in and get an RV. Um, I think you won't be disappointed. So I'd love for you guys to let me know in the comments what you think of this. This is a very exciting RV. And nice to see something so premium. Obviously this is not entry level, not for everyone. But I think this also does things that, you know, many of the other RVs just don't. Thank you so much for watching. This is the first Fans to Villas video. Expect many, many more to come. And let me know what you guys think.